Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful frosted nav bar effect with Tailwind CSS. It looks really good. And uh, if you want to see what it looks like at the end, just feel free to skip to the, uh, to the final product at the end of the video. But essentially, this is just a little app that I'm working on here. And uh, we have this nav bar up top. We've created it. It's really pretty. It's also like super sexy, mobile responsive and, and all that fun stuff. But assuming we have this nav bar, how do we add kind of frosted functionality to it? How do we provide that really cool kind of blur on the background? Tailwind doesn't actually have an organic way to add blur to the background, uh, but we can just use a simple CSS property to kind of fix that up for us. So we have this nav bar, just really quickly walking you guys through it. Uh, this is what the template looks like. I'm using Nuxt here, which is a framework that uses view. So if you guys are using just plain old HTML, just kind of remove all these view, uh, uh, remove the view file extension and then remove like this little template tag. And it's basically the same thing. Anyway, the very first and kind of uh, parent div here, the, the one that's kind of at the highest level of the hierarchy, is this one. We have a background of gray 900 and it's width full. So it stretches across the entire width of the page. If I wanted to, I don't know, make the background lighter, I could simply add an 800 to that and you'll see the background would get a little bit lighter. So that's just a little sanity check. This is what we're working with. Inside of that, we have another uh, little nav class here. This is with semantic HTML markup. Highly recommend you guys use that. And that's just a little smaller container, but this wide that just contains, uh, uh, you know, most of our nav bar content. And the reason why most people do something like this is because they, they just don't want the nav bar content to stretch across the full width of the container. It usually looks a little bit better if it's constrained and it kind of lines up with the rest of your content. But anyway, let's say I wanted to make this a little bit smaller. All I need to do is change that max width screen XL to max width screen uh, LG. <clears throat> so you can see how that lines up. Sorry, my voice is a little hoarse. I, uh, I'm just coming over a cold. So uh, hopefully that doesn't bother you guys too much. But essentially, how do we go from this to a beautiful frosted nav bar look? Well, it's actually super simple. First thing you have to do is you have to go to the parent container, the one that contains your background color, basically the thing that you want to make frosted. And uh, you have to add a background opacity. Um, let's do 80 for now, just to give you guys a brief look at what this uh, what this does. But basically you have to add this background opacity utility class and you can change whatever the opacity is by going, you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, so on and so forth. Tailwind's really cool and it allows you to add an opacity layer just to that uh, uh, background rather than, you know, everything. And that's how you go from what we had before. Let me just see if I can do this real time. This to uh, that. So now we basically accomplished the first issue here. And that first issue was how do we, you know, make the background a little bit translucent. The frosting effect actually goes a little bit further than that though. In order to add frosting, we have to add another class here called BG clip padding. And then let's add our own custom uh, background filter class or like, let's do blur filter. Actually, I think I'm doing blur backdrop filter or something like that. So let's just call it blur backdrop filter. And now we're going to define that class elsewhere in our uh, CSS. So if you guys are doing this in, you know, like a simple HTML file, uh, you, then you guys would have a style sheet or you guys could just do that at the top of the page. In my case, the way that view lays things out, we do it at a style tag down at the very bottom. So I've actually already created the class here. I've called it backdrop filter. Uh, but let's say I want to create a new class called blur backdrop filter. I simply need to add these two specifications. The first is backdrop filter. And the second is, uh, I believe, specific to, uh, I think that's Mozilla Firefox. So it's not like a polyfill rather, it's just like uh, more functionality on, on different browsers because not all browsers support this natively. Um, in this case, we have a five pixel blur, but we can ramp up the blur if we want. Let's stick with five and, and let me show you guys what it looks like. So we have that blur backdrop filter class on the main apparent div, and then we have that style defined down here. And this is what it ends up looking like. If you guys pay careful attention to this, you'll see that it actually blurs uh, what passes in the background here, right? See that makes sleek social thumbnails quickly. You can actually see that get a little bit blurry. Let's say we want to make it a little more blurry. Let's say uh, we do eight pixels. And you'll see that this will blur out even more. Typically for like a, a good frosted look, I like something between like five, maybe six, let's do six. Uh, and I've just found that to, you know, look the sexiest. Part of the appeal of a background that's frosted is you want people to be able to get that kind of like perspective or depth effect as they go down. And in order to do that, you still want to allow them to kind of make out the content at the back. But anyway, that is it, guys. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Just to summarize, it's a BG opacity class, a BG clip padding class, and then you can make your own backdrop filter, a blur class with these properties. And you are good to go. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help. Thanks so much and have a great rest of the day.